Ibu, three points on the road. All, all smiles in that dressing room, I'd imagine. Uh, yes, I think it's been a, a long time coming. I think we deserved it. It was a, it was a good performance. I think we started off quite well. Had them in the back foot. I think they, they more sat back and wait for the counter attack. I think we dealt with it quite well. And I, I think it's fair to say that they left you frustrated for, for parts of the game. They, they were a tough side to break down, but in, in the end, after 63 minutes, that's just what you did. Oh yeah, 100%. Like, um, first half, obviously, obviously play a bit further forward. There's a bit frustration, frustrating for me, but obviously me, Odin and Jam, obviously, where they sat back so deep and the gaps are not really as big as they normally would in the big game, but they sat and they, I think they've done really well and waited for the counter attack. Just be fair to them, and yeah, I thought we kept at it, kept pushing them back and eventually we got to go. Could have maybe been too. And uh, before the game, obviously, it, it was clear that Southend were, were minus a few players having had their game on Saturday called off. They sat deep, there's no hiding that, and it, and it was quite difficult to break down the, those two banks of four that, that they had in front of you, but credit to the boys, that it showed real determination, and, and after the two subs did that. Yeah, obviously, yeah. They, they've had their problems behind the scenes, we've had ours, it, I think we just got to deal with it at the end of the day, and with us keep knocking the door, I think we just keep knocking the door, and eventually we'll probably break down, and with the two subs coming on, they made a difference. And good thing uh, they gave us three points. Is it fair to say that patience was the, the key word then? Yeah, I think patience paid virtue at the end of the day, didn't it? So, uh, just like I said, we should keep doing what we're doing and be focused. So sometimes we were a bit like edgy, but like I said, I think that will give us a bit of confidence going into the next game. And there was a, a real determination towards the end as well. It, it wasn't necessarily the prettiest last uh, six minutes of added time, but you could see the bodies on the line. Nicky Cadden took one right to the face with the cross. Uh, I think Aaron, Aaron Collins went down last minute in the box as well. And it, it, it was a fight, wasn't it? Uh, it's, it's, it's going to be like that. Obviously, we're, we're defending a one 0 lead. We want to take home the three points, and there's throwing men forward. I think, like you said, M3, Cads, Azza, and obviously Dots at that last minute header at the end was unbelievable. And for us to see it out, that's what you want, desire from the team. And, and how important is it, especially after such a long trip? Because I imagine uh, going back um, with, without a win after the performance today would have been quite frustrating. 100%. I think I'm still tired from the Barrow, <laughs> Barrow journey. But yeah, I think we dealt with it quite well. We've recovered. And um, yeah, like I said, we travelled to uh, Barrow, which is quite far, and then travelled over to, to South End quite here. It's quite a long journey and hopefully another home game. Oh, we'll and we, we touched on the, the COVID situation early, earlier. Um, and you mentioned that we've had it, they've had it. Is it just a matter of time this season before every club has, has some sort of case and, and, and has games without players? I think, I think every club's going to deal with it. It's not, it's not just them or just us. It's, it's, a, it's the, whole, the whole football league there from top to bottom. Everyone's going to be dealing with it. You, top players have it. The lower league players have it. So it's, it's more a case of dealing with it. It's, it comes with it, I just think. Like we've handled it quite well. I think no, no problem with other clubs doing it. And uh, first half, as you, as you mentioned there, a more advanced role for yourself. In recent weeks, you have been sitting in uh, with Carl Winchester in the middle. Do you, do you enjoy one role more than the other, or is it, or is it just a case of, of doing your thing wherever the, the manager asks you to play? I'm, I'm, to be fair, I'm, I'm happy to be playing. I'm, like I say, the manager's playing me, and I'm, I can't, can't blame him, and I'm, I'm, great, I'm grateful for it. With a, but in terms of both positions, I'm just learning, and, just learning and learning the game. And if I'm playing further forward, I'm, like I say, watch players that are playing in that role. I'm quite used to playing deeper, but like I said, wherever gap plays me, I'm happy to be playing on the pitch, do well for my team. And of course, a clean sheet as well. Uh, didn't get one last time out, so, so I suppose it's ex extra sweet this time to, to not see the ball fly in the back of the net. I think that's the icing on the cake, isn't it? Yeah, I think that's good. Obviously, credit to Luke and the back four. In fact, everyone, every single uh, from Jammer down to Luke, done really well to defend that 1-0 and keep that clean sheet. And, and in the dying stage of the game, uh, look at the table, it looked like uh, Forest Green had crept into that top three. But um, a, a last minute Cambridge equaliser against Cheltenham uh, means that fi finish the afternoon for so tight at the top at the moment, but but when you look at that table, it, it makes good viewing, doesn't it? Yeah, if you told me that five minutes ago, I probably would have tried to score that number one. But uh, yeah, well, like I said, we just keep we focus on ourselves and worry about other teams in and around us. If we keep doing what we're doing, I think we'll be all right for the season. Fantastic stuff, Ebbs, and safe journey home, mate. Thank you. You too.